Hi and welcome back. In this video, understand classification with logistic regression. We are going to look at what is a classification problem, what is a hypothesis function for a classification problem, what is logistic regression, what is the cost function used in a classification problem, and then finally, how we apply gradient descent in the case of a classification problem. Let's again try to understand classification with the help of an example. Let's say we want to predict if a given image is that of a dog or a cat. So we want to identify this image from this image. To do this, we start with the label training data as usual and tell the supervised learning algorithm that this image is that of a dog and this image is that of a cat and let it learn so that over time when we give it a new image, it can predict whether it's a dog or a cat. Similarly, identifying whether an email is spam or not is also a type of a classification problem. The distinct part about classification problem is that the output is always discrete value. So in the case of spam or not spam, it's either one or zero. Let's take another example. Here, we want to predict if a student will get into university or not. Anything below this score disqualifies the student to get into the university and anything above this score is considered a good score to get into that university. If we use something like linear regression, we'll get a straight line, but we will not get the optimal value. We want a line like this, which clearly defines a yes or a no answer. Basically, we want the hypothesis function such that the output is always between 1 and 0 and that is what we get from logistic regression. The output is always between 0 and 1. So the hypothesis function let's say is wx in plus b represented by h of x equals to f of w into x plus b where f is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power negative t. Here e is an epsilon. The property of using this particular function is that the graph looks like this. And if you notice, it has a very small portion in between and for most of the values is either 0 or 1. And it oscillates between 0 and 1. So if you get the estimated probability that y equals to 1 given x is 70% or 0 0.7, there is 70% chance that the person will get selected. Similarly, if the output is 0.8, there is 80% chance that the person will get selected. The cost function is different from the linear regression cost function because what we have noticed that the cost function for logistic regression is not a convex function. So to get a convex function, we use this cost function. Here, when y equal to 1, the equation becomes minus 1 log y dash minus 1 minus 1 log 1 minus y dash, which gives the output of minus 1 log y dash. So for an output of y equals to 1, when the y is equal to 1, the cost is 0. And if the output is z predicted output is 0, when y equals to 1, the cost is really high. Similarly, when y equals to 0, the equation becomes minus 0 into log of y dash, which becomes log 1 minus y dash. Here, if y equals to 0, and the predicted value is also zero, the cost function is low. Otherwise, it becomes really high. In this video, we saw what is a classification problem. In the next video, we'll be using, we'll be classifying clothes using logistic regression. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.